How would you like to save lots of editing time and correct the color in your images with just one click of the mouse? I'm here to show you one of the most powerful and easy to use photographic tools I've seen in many years, the Color Checker Passport from X-Ray. Imagine accurate color with one click. Imagine getting the same color response from your camera under very different lighting conditions. And even more amazing, imagine matching the color response of two or more different cameras, even from different manufacturers. The Color Checker Passport is a collection of color and white balance targets combined with new software to make a raw workflow both accurate and consistent. Once you start using the Color Checker Passport, it will instantly become an indispensable tool in your camera bag. Let's take a quick look at the components and then we'll see them in action. First is the spectrally neutral white balance target for creating custom white balances in camera. Next is a target that may be most familiar to you. The Color Checker Classic Target has long been the reference for professional photographers. What really makes this target even more powerful is the software that is included to calibrate your camera by creating a custom DNG profile. Don't worry about the DNG format. Once you create the profile, you can apply it to any of your raw images and no file conversion is necessary. In a minute we'll show you how easy this is to do and you'll be amazed what these profiles will do for the color in your images. Lastly, we'll take a look at the new color enhancement target. In addition to providing a set of color reference patches and an exposure scale, the enhancement target provides warming and cooling white balance patches that will allow you to consistently make your preferred creative adjustments. You can do this with just one click. I can choose the white balance sampling tool, sample on one of the portrait patches, and instantly add warmth to the image. Think of it as creating your own look that you can easily and consistently apply. Now let's put the Color Checker Passport to work. Here's the process to use. The first step is to make sure you have a good exposure. Good exposure is critical to both tonal range and color. The next step is to create a custom white balance in your camera. This will save you time later and it will give you a more accurate preview on your camera LCD screen. Finally, take a shot containing both the Color Checker Classic target and the new enhancement target. This will provide an image we'll use for camera calibration to create a custom profile. It will give you a reference for warming or cooling your images with the custom white balance patches. Now that we've completed our shoot, let's put the Color Checker Passport to work. The Color Checker Passport desktop application wants a DNG file of our classic target image. To do this, simply save the file from Adobe Camera Raw as a DNG. We'll take our file and drag it into the application. The software automatically finds the target and then fills the screen with the target. The green squares in each patch show where the samples will be measured from. I'll click on Create Profile, give it a name, and click Save. The software will then generate a custom profile for us to use. Now let's put our new custom profile to work. When we open our raw images, they will automatically show up in Adobe Camera Raw. I included an image with the enhancement target in this group should I wish to warm or cool the images using the target's enhancing white balance patches. Now since I created a custom white balancing camera before the shooting started, all of the images already have a correct white balance. If you miss this step, you can use the classic target and choose the white balance dropper to white balance your images. I could then select all of my images, click on synchronize, choose just white balance, and click on OK. So if I had missed that step, now all of my images have the correct white balance. Now if you'd like to make any adjustments to exposure, contrast, etc., you can do that at this point. And when your edits are complete, go to the Camera Calibration tab, which is right here. It's a small icon of a camera. And we see the Adobe Standard Camera Profile has been applied as a default. However, we have a custom profile waiting for us, and as I scroll down, and click on it, we see a dramatic change to the image. Let's take a look at one of the other images and see what the profile has done for us here. So again, here was the standard conversion and our custom profile, and it's a dramatic change. I can select all, click on synchronize, and this time I will include everything in my synchronization, click OK, and now all of my images have the custom profile applied to them. Now let's use the enhancement target to warm up the skin tones a bit. Here's my image with the enhancement target, selecting my white balance picker. I'm going to move over to the warming patch and apply a warming to the skin tones. I like what this has done. 
I'll then select all, click on synchronize, click OK, and now all of my images have the correct warming patch applied to them with just one click, and our editing is done. One of the coolest features of the Color Checker Passport is its ability to match the color response of different cameras. Now, I've created a composite here from the images shot today. I used both Nikon and Canon cameras and put them together in this file. Now, even though these have all been white balanced, there are subtle differences between some of the color responses, particularly in the blues and purples. By applying the custom profile we created for each camera, with one click, again, we notice that now we've got our blues back, we've got our purples, we have nice warm skin tones, and the color response from both cameras now matches. If you'd like to try this for yourself, you can download our software and these sample images from our website. To get the best color profile, shoot the target under each lighting condition. If this isn't practical, as a backup, you can build a profile for each camera under each type of light, daylight, flash, tungsten, fluorescent, and shade. When every camera uses the Color Checker Classic Target to create a profile, all of them will have the same standard baseline upon which to render color. This is how you can match the color response under different lighting conditions and how different camera models or even different brands of camera can give you the same color response. You'll even see a benefit if you have two of the same model camera. With the time and money saved, the Color Checker Passport will pay for itself the very first time you use it. Whatever your software of choice in the Adobe Creative Suite, you'll be in control of color.